You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. All right, folks, uh, Super Bowl takes place on Sunday. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really interesting to me. Uh, every week of the Super Bowl, the NFL commissioner uh, has a news conference uh, where they address uh, the state of the league. And uh, during this news conference, uh, Roger Goodell talked about how the NFL was just, you know, not happy at all um, about diversity and how, uh, how the, the, the owners, uh, how they are, they, they are committed uh, to having diversity, except they're the ones who hire. I mean, is it a little hard to say that you have a problem and the owners are fully committed to diversifying the head coaching ranks when they're the ones who own the team? I mean, if, if, if somebody tells me, Roland, I, I, I am absolutely committed to hiring more African Americans. <laughs> and then I go, so why your office all white? And then I asked them, how many people have you hired in the last six months? Oh, 20. Ain't none of them been black. <laughs> so how are you committed to diversity, Rob, when the owners are the one ones who do the hiring? Well, just, just, it's just don't, just don't. Just don't lie to me. Just say they don't give That's a shit. That's what I'm saying. Next question. Yeah, uh, they don't give a yeah, shit. You, you, Next question. You and, I, you and I are on the same page there. That same conversation can be had all across America. And people say, oh, Black Lives Matter. We love diversity. You look at how they spend the dollars. <laughs> you, you look at who's on their right. board. No, you don't, right? I mean, it doesn't. And I'm, and I'm actually one that's sick of a lot of the diversity inclusion and the, and the diversity inclusion consultants and all the diversity inclusion uh, departments. I'm for diversity and inclusion. Just do it. Don't pretend like you do it. And don't just have one person you have in charge of diversity and inclusion and say you're about diversity and inclusion. No. Where's your board? How's your money spent? That's what I care about. I I'm sick of these titles. I'm sick of these to say that you believe Black Lives Matter. Good. Slow clap. Now, what are you going to do? How are your dollars spent? How's your, how are the makeup of your employees, of your management? What does that look like? That's all we care about. That's it. Bring the equity. Nothing else. See, the, the, the thing for me, Amisha, that, that, that's are just utterly hilarious about this whole deal is in the Super Bowl this Sunday there are four coordinators one mm -hmm. offense on one defense on each team Sunday the office of coordinators is supposed to be like the step below the head coach three of the four coordinators in Sunday's game are black Neither one got a head coaching job. It, it's quizzical, Roland, and it is because at the end of the day, what we see from Roger Goodell and people like him is that it they are race and equity positive as long as it is a PR campaign. It is not seen in actual, it is not seen in action at all. And it's not for lack of talent or lack of esteem or lack of you can look left, right, and sideways and find a lot of people who would be able to fit these roles who happen to be black. It's because they don't want to do it. I think that for him, it's easy to tweet out. It's easy to issue a press release. It's easy to get one of the highest paid PR firms in the country to say these things that sound nice, especially post um, the George Floyd protest last year. But we haven't seen those things in action. And to be honest, I think that more black organizations and more black media need and and white media as well need to start questioning not only Roger Goodell, but other organizations and their leadership as well, who have made these pledges, who make these flowery statements on a regular basis, and we don't see any change. Roger Goodell knows how to say the good things, or his PR firm knows how to say the good things. However, 
rarely are those things actually seen in practice. Nothing has changed about the NFL. The NFL has not elevated any more Black coaching staff. The NFL is not elevating any Black owners. The NFL is absolutely fine with things as is. They just want to put out statements that make you think that progress is on the horizon. Uh, this is Roger Goodell this week at the news conference. All right, let's see if we can go ahead and get the video to play here. Sorry, one second. Uh, I'll play that in a second. I mean, I, I just, again, I, I just, the, 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 big, the big issue for me are these folks who act like we don't have any eyes and we can't actually see what's going on. I mean, we're literally looking at you. We're, 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 this, is so, this is sort of like, I, I use this example all the time. I, I, imagine, imagine um, the, the four of us are talking. And no, imagine the four, the, imagine the three of us are talking. Imagine it's me, Rob, and Amisha. And, and, and Michael comes up and Michael says, Man, I'm hungry. Woo, I'm hungry. And I go, Hey, Amisha and Rob, uh, l let's go get something to eat. <laughs> Michael probably standing there like, I, I know his ass heard. Me say I was hungry. <laughs> did, did, did he? Do, I'm standing right here, and he gonna ask two other people to let's go eat, and I'm standing right here. Mm -hmm. Just, just go ahead and be straight. Owner say, look, look, look at here. We want white boys leading our teams. Okay, mm -hmm. y'all are more than welcome to be coordinators. Y'all can be wide receivers coaches. Y'all can be running backs coaches. As long as you don't kneel. We, <laughs> we ain't hiring you as head coaches. Just go ahead and be honest with me. I mean, look, the, the one thing, the difference between a whites-only water fountain and integration, but then you don't hire me, I know exactly where you stand with that water fountain. I ain't got to guess where you stand. It's not hidden. These owners are full of crap. Oh, every single one of them. Every single one of them full of crap. You know, uh, Roland, I, I don't know if you, were you coming to me next? Yes, yeah, so you go ahead. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, uh, well, you mentioned me being hungry, which I am, but okay, anyway. Uh, so, <laughs> it, it, you know, it, it, it's interesting that last year, Roger Goodell said that the NFL was wrong about Colin Kaepernick and his protest. He came out and admitted it. You, you all remember that? He said, you know, Colin Kaepernick was correct, right? But the league hasn't lived up to the, the their actions don't coincide with Roger Goodell admitting that the league was wrong about Kaepernick's protest. Now, it's also important to note that uh, Roger Goodell works for the team owners, and almost all of them are white, okay? So they are, as you said, they're perf the team owners are perfectly fine with the way things are unless there's some massive protest and then they may do some cosmetic changes because then they don't want people to stop watching the games or you know what have you now i'm one i haven't watched the nfl game in five years because colin kaepernick is being hasn't gotten hired in the nfl so i haven't i'm not watching the super bowl you know you can watch it you all can watch it if you want to but i haven't watched the nfl game in five years but it's important for us to go back and look at what roger goodell said last year in 2020 admitting that Kaepernick was correct, but they haven't taken the proper steps to uh, correct those actions. But also, when Jay-Z got this big deal to produce the Super Bowl halftime show and do all this stuff, this inspirational music, things like this, wasn't that supposed to be about inclusion and all this stuff? Uh, and we ain't heard nothing. <laughs> we ain't heard not a damn thing from Jay-Z about the hiring of coaches. <laughs> Remember when he had that meeting with Roger Goodell and it was broadcast and he said, OK, now after after you get their attention and they say, we hear you, you we hear you, we hear you. Then what's the next step? Business. OK, what, what, business what's, what, 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 what what's the next what's the next step? Checks. <laughs> I mean, what, that's all it was. Like, Checks is selling <laughs> merchandise. That's all that was about. That's all that was about. Checks is selling merchandise. <laughs> every single night. We've got some of the top black experts. You're not gonna see them on cable news or broadcast news. 
because you swear black people aren't experts when it comes to this health crisis. That's why we have this show and why we do what we do every day on Roland Martin Unfiltered. Joining us right now is retired General Russell Honoré, the nation's first black surgeon general, Dr. Joycelyn Elders, John Hope Bryant, he is the founder of Operation Hope, Senator Kamala Harris of California, Dr. Sadrina Calder, retired General Lloyd Austin, Congresswoman Karen Bass, and Commissioner Omari Hardick, Bureau President in Brooklyn, Eric Adams, Dr. Joseph Graves, America's Wealth Coach, Deborah Owens, Dr. Corey A. Bear, Patel Salt. Uh, Howard University student, Pastor Jamal Bryant, a uh, doctor, uh, Christy McDowell, Benja Ajilore, senior economist at the Center for American Progress, Gilda Daniels, again, author of the book, The Crisis of Voter Suppression in America. Four stars, uh, General Kit Ward, Dr. Oliver Brooks, is president of the National Medical Association, president of the American Medical Association, Dr. Patrice Harris, Joby Benjamin, Dr. Alexia Gaffney, infectious disease specialist, Dr. George is Benjamin, uh, executive director of the American, American Public Health Association, Malcolm Nance, family medicine physician Dr. Jen Caudle, Dr. Tashaka Cunningham, a molecular biologist, Kat Stafford. She's a national race and ethnicity reporter for the Associated Press. Dr. Wayne A.I. Frederick, uh, who is the president of Howard University, Congresswoman Yvette Clark uh, from the state of New York, William Spring, AFL-CIO economist, uh, Andrea James, executive director of the National Council for Incarcerated and Formerly Incarcerated Women and Girls. All right, let's go to Capitol Hill. Congresswoman Gregory Meeks, Congresswoman Edwards Johnson of Texas, Congresswoman Barbara Lee, Minnesota Senior. And Amy Klobuchar, mental health clinician, Jamie Singletary, Prince George's County State's Attorney, Aisha Braidboy, as well as Dylan uh, Harry, ACLU Justice Division Strategies. Uh, Dr. Cindy Duke, uh, she is a virologist, Principal Steve Perry of Capital Prep. Health and wellness specialist, Dr. Yolandra Hancock, Desmond Mead, President of the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition, Cliff Albright, who is the co-founder of Black Voters Matter, Michael Harriet with the group, the Mina McWhorter, founder of Love by the Hand of Dr. Julian Malvo, economist president, Merida Bennett College. Coroner Michael Fowler is a mayor of Atlanta, Keisha Lance Bottoms, mental health therapist Suzette Clark, Justin Gibney, attorney and political strategist, and Bishop Vincent Matthews Jr., Dr. Suzette McKinney, CEO and executive director of the Illinois Medical District, Dr. Leon Madugal, president elect of the National Medical Association, Jana Bailey, Mayor of Moss Point, uh, Mississippi, uh, Mario King. We're going to keep driving this thing to make sure our people are fully aware, safe, protected from coronavirus. You get the top medical experts, the top business experts, top political experts, top religious experts, because that's why we do what we do, unapologetically and unfiltered. Ain't nobody else in the black media space doing what we do. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.